Hi guys, it's Christmas City Girl Homestead. So today I got back from dropping off the grandkids and everything and I said to Jack, let's go out and pick cucumbers because I seen one that was going bad from my bedroom window. Well, we ended up throwing out about 10 of them because they were completely orange and not good. So I picked the rest of them and I got, you know, one of those grocery bags, plastic ones, and it's a little bit bigger than that, full. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I going to do with all these um, pickles, cucumbers, whatever you want to call them? So I am going to make some sun pickles. I'm going to do a batch of four, and then if I still have, you know, um, a bunch of the liquid left, then I will make another one. So I've been cutting some of the pickles. That's the longer ones. For some reason, mine haven't been getting long, but really fat. So... Let's bring you down here and show you what I'm doing. We'll grab another fat one. And I'm using the two quart jars. So some of them won't probably make all the way to the top, which is all right. You know, you just have to dig in deeper for it. Now, if you want to de-seed these, you can. I happen to like the seeds. So, but if you don't, then take them out. Now, the other ones, what I did is I halved them and quartered them and then quartered them again because they were so fat so yeah and i still even after all these i still have half of that garbage bag, or that bag full so i ordered something and i'm going to make a simple brine i think and then can up some because there's no way even with slicers that we could just get them all ate up and then i found did find a couple of pickling cucumbers today and I'm going to add that to the um, cucumber or the pickles that I made the other day with that um, seasoning mix because you can do that. And with these, the same thing. Once you empty them, you can keep filling it for about three times, and then um, the brine isn't strong enough anymore. So, see, this is when I like to get them when the seeds are nice and small. But with all the rain that we've had, we got like oh, five or six inches of rain. They have just went absolutely bonkers. So I figure if I have to, I'm going to give Courtney and Bobby a two-quart thing. Jack's going to take one. Tom will take these to work. He loves these pickles so much. He'll take them to work and eat them every day. And I figured I'd give maybe... Um, Christopher and Aaliyah package of them. And if I have to, I got neighbors. Because <laughs> I don't want to see them all go bad. You know what I mean? It just, no. You never want to see your food go bad. And we did have to throw away, I don't remember if it was eight or ten of them. I don't know. So, all right. So let me get this cleaned up a little bit. I don't know that we'll need those. But they're all washed up just in case. And I won't put my cutting board away until I'm done with that. I'm going to have seeds everywhere. <laughs> and then I've got my two quart jars. The um, recipe that you'll see actually is for a gallon jar. But it's so much easier to try to find room for this in your refrigerator than it is to you know try to find all that other stuff so let me get a few things around and i'll be right back well that was more than a couple minutes my son from tennessee called <laughs> and so i had to talk to him he goes we should do this more often whatsapp so he could talk to us um so i'll have his dad put that back on his phone too so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to put the spices in each jar that we need and you know what I forgot something you know when you think you got everything and then you don't <laughs> okay so now um, it calls for two-thirds of a cup of pickling salt so I'm gonna use a third of a cup hold on here all right well 
So we're going to put a third of a cup in each one of those. I need to get me some more. I'm almost out of it. Can't run out of pickling salt. Not during canning season. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need more. That's all I got left. So definitely need more. All right. So then you need, because I'm doing this in half, we're going to need an eighth of a teaspoon, which of course they don't have. I'll have to use the quarter and do half of that. Of alum. Alrighty. And then we need a tablespoon of mustard seed. Hopefully I have enough of this. We'll see. One, two. I think I have some more of this somewhere, so it'll be all right. Three. And then it says one to three cloves of garlic. So I peeled garlic while I was talking to my son. Well, we're going to do four in some of them. <laughs> and then I wanted to do something a little bit different this year. I'm going to add just a little bit of the pickling spice. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just because I like the seeds and stuff in there. <laughs> All right. Now what we do is pack our pickles in there. These are going to be awesome. If Nate lived closer, I'd do one up for him too. Because he likes pickles too. And you know pickles are good for your gut health. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's good for your gut health. Maybe I'll have to cut up those other pickles and not have so many to can. <laughs> but that's all right. I'll just save the pickling spice for something else. <laughs> and like I say, you can reuse this brine. So that's what that looks like now. I'm going to pack these other three. No need to have to watch that, and I'll be right back. I did have to cut those last two um, cucumbers up that I had saved back. Now, you want to put in as much as you can fit in there of the dill. If you don't have dill like this, you can use dill weed, you know, that's dried, whatever you need to do. And just kind of stuff it in there in between the pickles. Probably would be easier if you just did it as you were going along, but, you know, nothing I do is is to make it easier. <laughs> I couldn't believe the price of this dill. I can't wait till mine's all the way up. It was two seventy nine dollars just for that little tiny bit. Well, I guess it's enough for four jars, but still, you know what I mean. It's crazy. All right, so in this pan over here, I have 13 cups of cold water, and I have six and a half cups of white vinegar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these up with the liquid. And if I have to make more, I can. But this should be enough for all four. Hopefully. You guys, these are the crispiest pickles, and these are so, so, so good. All right, so then I'll fill the other two up in just a minute. I'm going to put the lids on these. Put them on nice and tight, and then you're going to want to shake all your spices and everything up so that they'll go through the whole pickles. 
So no more leaving anything on the bottom. Just shake them up. And then when you put them on the porch, you know, every day, go out there and shake them. You don't have to do it 10 times a day or anything like that. Just shake it up once a day. Really good. So let me finish these other two and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got all four done. I had a little bit of um, brine left, but not that much. So um, it wouldn't have been enough to do another two quarts. So there are four quarts of sun pickles. And now I'm going to have our porch doesn't get much sun because it's covered. But Jack's is wide open, so we always take him over to Jack's house, and we'll have him shake him up once a day. And then after three days of being outside, then they need to stay refrigerated. And like I say, you can keep adding to the brine, you know, so every time you get more cucumbers, just add right to it. And then you can use it for three times. <coughs> so... Let me know what you think if you've ever tried them. And I do know that it was my ex-boyfriend's mom's um, recipe. If you want to make these spicy, you can actually add those um, red chili flakes in there. And then you can make them um, spicy. So he does them in the gallon. And he'll make some spicy and some regular. So if you like spicy pickles, there you go. So thanks for coming along with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you've got a whole bunch of cucumbers... There's something else to do with them. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing. And I'll see you at supper.